Predrag Rakovic helped to make history in New Zealand when the Serbian captain and goalkeeper lifted the FIFA Under-20 World Cup. It's an amazing feeling. As we went further and further, we just took it game by game and we became more adaptable. Before we went there, we had faith that we could get through the group stage. But to actually go and win the tournament, well, that was something we just dreamt could happen. At 19, Rakovic was one of the youngest members of the Serbian squad. Despite his age, he was made captain by head coach Velko Paunovic. The mantra, if you're good enough, you're old enough. He's a captain because he's a leader and he leads the team very well. Well, for me, goalkeepers should always be charismatic. It's usually a quality they have. With their charisma, they can bring a winning mentality into the game, which is important in sport, particularly football. <laughs> In New Zealand, he did an amazing job leading the team, especially the defensive players, as we can't always see what goes on behind us. My current role model is Ika Casillas. When I started playing football, everyone always used to call me Ika, as I suppose I look a bit like him. But nowadays, coaches and other people who watch football tend to compare me with Manuel Neuer. Rakovic has really caught the eye with how composed he's been. With goalkeepers, it's a difficult skill to be able to have composure and speed. Sometimes those who are fast are not composed, and those who are composed are not fast. In Rakovic's case, these two skills have come together. He's fast, yet he's calm and composed at the same time. Rakovic, our captain, was named as the best goalkeeper of the World Cup. We recognised his leadership qualities and talents when we started this project three years ago. Indeed, he's part of a really talented group of players, and one that has a great future ahead of them in world football. I have the utmost respect for him, not just as a man, but also, importantly, as a keeper. I don't want him to be one of the best, I want him to be the best. So what moment stood out for the tournament's most outstanding goalkeeper? I would pick two saves. The first was the free kick in the final against Brazil in the 92nd minute. And the next was against the USA in the 90th minute when I had a one-on-one -on -one with their forward. Those two were the saves I'd pick out as the key ones during the tournament. But there was one incident that could have changed everything for Rakovic and Serbia, his missed penalty in the quarter-final shootout with the USA. I raised my hand after the fourth penalty to let the coaches know I can take one if they needed me to. Well, when I was going to take the penalty, I said to myself, don't change sides. I was going to go to the right, but for some reason, just before kicking the ball, I changed and went left. I don't know why I did it. Next time I take a penalty, I won't make the same mistake and will score for sure. Now back with his club, Red Star Belgrade. The teenage star could well be on the radar of some of the biggest clubs in Europe as he considers his next step. I'm currently at Red Star and have just extended my contract here but there are certainly plenty of offers from different clubs and leagues. Personally, I've always liked the idea of playing either in England or in Spain. I think those two leagues are the ones that would suit my style of goalkeeping the best. But we'll see what happens. For now, I'm here. And unless something changes, I'll still be here.